We were really inspired by the Know My Name campaign and initiative with the National Gallery of Australia. And uh, we wanted to tag onto this initiative and continue to create a platform for the greater visibility and voice and vision of Australian visual artists. Catherine Hattam has been an incredible activist in the Australian feminist movement and felt that she'd be a perfect person to work with and to ask to curate the show. It's mainly been a kind of reflection of my life and my gallery going and you know I've seen works and then followed them up. Can you tell me briefly about a couple of the works in the show? Yeah, um, I think the work by Ellen Cosham which is the Cultivate, I, I think of it as cultivate and uncultivate in relation to uh, terra nullius, you know, whether the land was, that kind of thing. And the Adrian Gaha, I think his, you know, amazing use of like the confidence of the mixture of the image, but also being mucked up and mucked around with. Uh, the Moya McKenna, I think is a very tough painting and it's like one which is, comes out of personal origins, but really quite a rough, confident painting. And it runs differently, like the Jennifer Goodman's very incredibly immaculate surface, the Julia Gorman, which is like a much rougher. Uh, there's, and then there's the young, like Victoria Todorov, which is, I think, um, the next generation down. Um, actually, I'm not allowed to mention my daughter's work, which is slight, I mean, I notice it's hidden down the back because it's slightly challenging in terms of using pornographic imagery with abstraction. My real interest and passion is painting, but there are some very good photographs in this, and like Claire Ray's photograph, and then there's Naomi Hobson's very witty and like brilliant photographs of um, a mixture of like contemporary and indigenous life. There's some terrific um, 3D works like Elvis Richardson's, and really stunning small baskets woven by Jenna Lee, which are made from the dictionaries that white people have made of Aboriginal words and she's repurposed them. The Nat Thomas is very, I think that's a very funny work. I think it's actually a mixture of quite an elegant work but it's also kind of undercut by the title. I guess I really uh, just went with what I was interested in.